This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Wow, that was a long skit. Holy cow. That's going to be a long YouTube VOD. Alright, we're back to the sandlot. There's no gym teacher in this school, but that hasn't stopped some shameless individual from putting physical education on our schedule. A healthy spirit dwells in a healthy body. It's easy to laugh these words off as a relic of the baby boomer generation's Neanderthal obsession with building character through guts and willpower, but... In fact, there seems that there are actually a, is a good amount of scientific data linking moderate physical exercise to positive psycho psycho psychotropic effects. Personally, having been brought up with the simplistic lesson that basic physical strength decides things in the end, I don't have any objection to moving my body. That said... Are we playing baseball? Amine's pointlessly powerful voice resounds across the field. In response, there's a vaguely apathetic chorus of yeah, from her classmates. An unenthusiastic, yeah, from the transparently disinterested Michiru. A dopey, yes, from Makina, unintentionally draining any shred of motivation from all who hear it. That's how Makina sounds in my line, yes. A vigorous, yeah, from Sachi, who's taking everything seriously as always, but her voice cracks shrilly at the unclearly unfamiliar <laughs> exercise. Clearly unfamiliar. And finally, stony silence from Sakaki, who's skulking like a prideful middle schooler forced to participate in a children's athletic meet. The only one of the bunch with any real energy would be Amine, thrusting her fist towards the heavens from her position on the mound. Oh, we are definitely playing baseball. As for me, without the beginning of a clue as to what's about to take place here, I'm staring absentmindedly up at the sky. And how are you doing today, everybody? Hey, Amine. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are playing baseball. That's so fantastic. Mich Michiru's up at bat. She's going to strike out. Why are you so ridiculously fired up? <laughs> oh my gosh, Michiru's, hat, Michiru's baseball helmet has holes for her pigtails. Oh no. Oh no. Makin is now getting the bad influence from both Amine and Yuji. Jeez! Watch the potty mouth! Well, seems like we've got someone exploding with a weird sort of drill sergeant energy at least. <laughs> Amine seizes Makina's head from above like a basketball and forcibly carries her off into the shadows. <laughs> she definitely picked up the foul language from Yuji. <laughs> Why is she so screechy? And now Amine is reminding me of Kyo. And not in the good way. Amine's voice somehow manages to both be sickly sweet and ice cold. It's enough to send shivers down my spine. Makina's bitter, heart-rending screams don't help either. I think Amine's trying to help maintain a relatively kind tone of voice, but she's actually more frightening as a result. It crosses my mind that this could very well be described as bullying. But, considering the current climate of hypersensitivity towards such matters, I'll refrain from voicing any hasty conclusions. Yeah, come on, Michiru means business. That's fine by me, but what exactly is it that we're doing? Hey, well, the fact is, Yumiko, I backyard baseball still hasn't arrived in the mail for me, the new edition, so we have to play it in Grisea for the time being. Sports? I was hoping for more specific details, but playing sports in gym class hardly seems ridiculous. More like completely commonplace. Yes, explain the details of baseball. Before that, I've got an unrelated question, if that's alright. Why are you the only one in a maid uniform? Don't give me that totally nonplussed look. For a second, you almost convinced me that I'm the strange one here. What? Sorry, let's move on. Shouldn't have asked. 
My mistake. The strangest thing here wasn't her clothes. It was me expecting anything resembling common sense from a student at this school. <laughs> okay, so... What exactly does sports involve here? Because that's her casual outfit. That's why. They didn't want to make more than one casual outfit for Sachi. <laughs> Also, because Sachi, like every student at this school, is kind of weird. Oh, this isn't baseball. What kind of extreme sport is this? All I got out of your description is that there's probably a ball involved. What? Sachi hands me a large round ball that she's been holding on to. That'll be easier to hit than a baseball, but it'll be harder to knock it far. They hit a volleyball with a bat? Someone's gonna get hurt. What if someone catches the ball on the fly? When and why did this strange game come into fashion? Uh, that, that's fair. So you ended up doing them all at once. Was this your doing, Sakaki? <laughs> I can't believe that Murderer Girl is actually moving up uh, the tier list. Like, she's probably fur my third favorite. <laughs> There's only five girls, to be fair, but still. Then don't complain when I blame you. <laughs> oh, okay, I believe you. What about Amine and Makina? Relax, she's not gonna tear your pigtails. What exactly? <laughs> I don't think Amine has the power to rip your soul out. Amine? I actually agree with Amine on that. Discipline is an important part of parenting. Are you her mother or what? She basically is! And so after 15 minutes of wasted time... Oh, yeah! Oh, this song! This is a cool song. With Amine's second shot of, all right, let's do this! Our bewildering match of extreme mystery extreme sports begins. Through the impartial results of rock, paper, scissors matches, the teams are divided as follows. Bear team, pitcher, Suo Amine, catcher, Sakaki Yumiko, fielder, Irisu Makina. Rabbit team, pitcher, Kazumi Yuji, catcher, Kominasachi, fielder, Matsushima Michiru. Our rabbit team ends up being first to bat. The leadoff batter dons a softball helmet, grabs a colorful metal bat, and takes her place in the batter's box. This music is epic. With a grating high-pitched shot, Michiru thrusts her bat out to point at the pitcher's mound, where Amine is settling into her stance with the volleyball in hand. What's this? Considering how apathetic she was, Michiru's gotten surprisingly into it now that the game has started. Well, that's because she wants to dazzle everyone with how good she is. Hmm. Yeah, I believe that. I see. But I'm willing to bet that she's also the first one to get bored. <laughs> Unaware of the critical analysis she's receiving from her teammates, Michiru takes a few vigorous practice swings, then glares up at Amine. Wow. 
Teach her a lesson, she won't forget Michiru. Watching Michiru stamp her feet in frustration in the batter's box, I whispered to Sachi, who's sitting next to me on the bench. So, what happened last time? Oh. Ah, these comic panels are great. Disgrace tends to be something you want to repay, not regain. I guess the words are kind of similar. Michiru must have gotten all excited and shouted out a garbled sentence before she even knew what she was saying. I've done that a lot. Just a thought here. Might Michiru be something of an idiot? <laughs> Sachi is too nice to say that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, didn't intend to distract you. We'll keep quiet, so please regain as much disgrace as you like. <laughs> Come on, be encouraging. As Michiru screeches like a drugged monkey and brandishes her bat overhead, Amine's first pitch sails over the plate. <laughs> Receiving the return throw from Sakaki, Amine carefully finds her, her foot uh, her foothold on the pitcher's mound, then a fearless smile appears on her face. <laughs> With that intense shot, Michiru takes a firm hold of her bat and fixedly watches Amine's pitching motion. Looking closely, Michiru's got the position of her hands on the bat reversed, but if I mention that now, I get the feeling her only response would be another, shut it. Guess I'll just watch over her gallant battle with silent respect. <laughs> Amine twists her long limbs into a sidearm motion, and then the volleyball soars through the squatting Sakaki's hands at an ideal velocity and angle. With an explosion of energy, Michiru swings her bat at full force, but tragically she cuts through empty air a good 10 centimeters above the top of the ball, her blonde twin tails swinging aimlessly behind her. Aw, I love the energy, Michiru, just aim a little bit better. Michiru slams her bat on the home plate in a towering rage. <laughs> I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon! <laughs> hey, Michiru. Oh, man. Michiru just got pupils, and it's kind of creepy. You've got your hands rolling. You're batting right, so your right hand should be on top. You've got it backward. You're obviously clueless. Hold it with your right hand first higher on the bat, your left f your and then your left fist below. As Michiru bears her fighting spirit, Amine's face briefly suggests a dubious, Are you sure about that? But she's not the type to think too hard about this sort of thing. Her expression soon gives way to a smirking grin. Forcefully swinging the ball up in her right hand, Amine takes a step forward on the mound, throwing the movement of her entire body into a pitch. The ball flies out of Amine's hand, whistling through the air directly at its target, which is Michiru. Michiru, anticipating the bean ball, puts ha back half a step with her pivot leg and swings her bat in a wide arc. <laughs> this is literally like a manga. Michiru's vigorous stroke of the bat catches the ball beautifully on the sweet spot, sending it flying back toward Amine on the mound. <laughs> yes, Sachi, it's amazing. Well, that's what she screamed, so I would assume so. Exactly where and how this thing became a legend is a question for another day. The ball rushes straight back toward Amine, who's still in an awkward position from releasing her pitch. That fiend's going to hit her. Or so I thought for a split second. Amine nimbly recovers and takes a firm stance as the ball approaches her. Turning to the side, she swings back with her left elbow and unleashes a firm right-handed first stab in model karate form. Fist stab. With a resounding thud, the ball is sent flying back towards where Michiru stands in the batter's box. <laughs> 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 
And this is what I feel like all anime is. Michiru fires it right back. This is getting boring. Yeesh! Right off the bat, and we already find ourselves in a deadlock. Or rather, what the hell is with this development? I am sort of reminded of those martial arts matches where both fighters run into the center of the ring at the first golem, stop dead, and then start bashing away at each other, but... Where do fiends go from here? Are they are they planning to repeat pitcher paybacks until they just run out of steam? I can't read the next move. A strange game. There's no apparent path to victory for either side. <laughs> Sachi, you want to go out while this happens? That I'd be down for that. Ah! Why is everybody having these really screechy voices now? <laughs> hey, Sachi. Oh, pu pu <laughs> Usna, we ask her out. What exactly is a pitcher pack? Hmm, I see. Sparks continue to fly as the battle to the death between Mound and Batter's Box continues along this repetitive course. But, I mean, what exactly are they getting all worked up over? It's too hot for this. <laughs> this is turning into that part of Arthur where Francine and the Brain are just doing, playing ping pong with each other and they, like, hit the ball back and forth to each other so hard and so fast that it literally vaporizes. But I suppose women have their own battles that must be fought to the bitter end. This is clearly a contest between two truly indomitable spirits. By the way, Sachi. Hi. Just how long is this futile exchange going to continue? Truly a frilling edge of your seat battle of the wills. Mind if I use this opportunity to go buy a drink? I was gonna buy something for you. No, I think I'll get it myself this time. At my words, Sachi skewers me with a searching glare. Or so <laughs> oh, Sachi, sharp as attack. Sachi's truly the best. At the fought, as the fought, damn, she saw Frumi runs through my head. I make con eye contact with Sakaki, who's still crouched behind the plate. Sorry, girl. So, there was a previous offender, eh? <laughs> well, can't argue with that. So we resign ourselves to watch over the battle to the end with the calm gazes of the elderly, watching their overly energetic grandchildren skip rope with all their might. <laughs> but just as I'm beginning to think that this fiery clash of pride between Michiru and Amine might truly never end, the conclusion arrives in an unexpected form. <laughs> Did Amine just die? Hey, Sachi. What does that ga just now signify? Oh, no, she's not dead. But she is injured. I see. Wait, should that be my reaction here? So, isn't that kind of bad? <laughs> no, it's a cause to celebrate! I'm just kidding. Sachi stares blankly at me for a moment. After a beat, her eyes widen and her mouth springs open. <laughs> As we heard, we jump off the bench, Makina is already rushing up to Amine, who's currently writhing on the mound. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta wait to the end of the VN for that to happen. <laughs> Although it might look like a slapstick comedy scene, if you squint, the atmosphere is actually pretty tense. Until a burst of out of place laughter breaks it. <laughs> Michiru, not the time. Michiru points towards the mound with her right hand, her left hand sit resting on her hip, her proud face the image of a woman triumphant. Although, to be fair, Amine was intentionally trying to hit Michiru with her pitch, so. Karma? 
ここのあこの私にあ,あこの私に勝負を挑もうなんて No, Amine's not dead yet. Maybe eventually. I don't want Amine to die. I just want her to get character development and get better. Should you really be striking a victory pose right now? You're completely burned out yourself. <laughs> She's out of juice. We need to get her a juice box. <laughs> Bring me oxygen. Her faint voice abruptly failing her altogether, Michiru's body begins to shake violently. She collapses to her knees on the spot with a thump. They're both alive. <laughs> okay, let's. If she's up chucking, we gotta get her medical help too. Michiru scatters sparkling vomit onto the ground of a sickening girdle. Okay, let's get them both to the hospital. Would this be the so called double KO? So, Sachi, in this case, can we declare the one who stands up inside the 10 count the winner? Yeah, I no, no, I want to do the other way around. <laughs> Roger. Yeah, just a bit. Probably shouldn't try to stand. If the bone's broken, the pressure might make it break the skin. <laughs> Look, just stay put. Let me see your foot. Amine, supported by her hand, slowly shifts to a sitting position on the mound. I take her right leg in my hand and lift it up to take a look. It's not any worse than I'd expected. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be a fracture, but there is red swelling beginning around the joint. Hmm, doesn't seem to be broken, but a sprain? Well, if we're unlucky, it might be a partial fracture. Either way, it's the infirmary for you. Can you stand? Don't put any pressure on that foot, though. Don't put weight on your right foot. Just get yourself onto my back. Don't give me that. It's not so bad right now because you're pumped full of adrenaline from the shock, but if you overdo it, you'll be crying later. Hurry up and get on. Yeah, it's, it's a medical emergency. I'm not going to play along with your jokes right now. You're hurt. Stop wasting time and do what I tell you. Amine softly leans her body against my back, then grabs the shoulders of my gym uniform with somewhat hesitantly. Oh boy. Uh, I probably can't make that the YouTube thumbnail. Maybe I can. I would have to think about it. You need a better grip than that. Wrap your arms around. Come on, get a hold of my neck. That is not the face of someone you want on your back. As instructed, Amine wraps her arms around my neck, pushing her breasts firmly against my back. Normally, I'd be throwing out a joke or two at this point, but this isn't the time. Sachi, I'm taking her to the infirmary. How's Michiru? Uh, hi. Keep in mind, Nick, that uh, while I can upload the VODs on my channel, and I have, like, the warning at the beginning where it's like, hey, this is rated M, not it's intended for mature audiences, the thumbnails still have to be family-friendly. And I feel like this is a little sensual. I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll get some additional opinions. Michiru lies flat on the ground, limp as a beached tuna. Sachi's holding a portable can of oxygen to her mouth as we speak. They, they have those? <laughs> I'm leaving command of the field to you. Adjust your tactics as the situation demands. Can you handle it, class representative? For some reason, maybe instinctively reacting to my tone, Sachi raises a hand in salute toward me. I do usually like making the uh, CGs, the thumbnails, because the CGs are generally very high quality. But some of them, like the one of Machina sitting on our lap, that was too lewd for it to be a thumbnail. Alright, here we go, Amine. Maybe I'll just make it Yuji's face. <laughs> Crop out Amine's, like, I want you eyes. Not a problem. This isn't something you need to apologize for. 
I thought about that response, but ultimately decided against it. The wounded tend to grow timid towards those around them. Better to avoid wording that it might <laughs> better to avoid wording that might make her think of herself as baggage burdening others. Don't want to increase her anxiety. I keep up a flow of communication, standard procedure to ensure the wounded doesn't faint out of pain. Nice job, Yuji. Where's the infirmary? Amine, do you know? We'll be there soon. Try to endure it for the moment. <laughs> Don't make light of leg injuries. Soldiers get abandoned when they can't walk. Don't worry. Japan won't desert you, and I won't leave you to die either. <laughs> yes, you're super fat. Not particularly. Five bags of rice or so at most. I'm used to carrying around heavy luggage on my back. I can estimate weight from the feeling on my shoulders. <laughs> no. You're lighter than I expected. Probably only looked heavy from your height in your oversized chest. You've got long legs, too. That must have thrown me off. <laughs> I was expecting you to weigh 300. My impression was that you'd be comfortably above 60 kilos. <laughs> As she speaks, Amine sharply tightens her arms into a chokehold around my neck. Look, stop thrashing around. You'll be the one crying if I drop you. I come to a brief halt on the spot and lift Amine's body, which had been sliding down my back, up more firmly around my shoulders. <laughs> what are you planning, woman? In the next moment, Amine gently closes her eyes. Still clinging tightly to my neck, she brings her lips close. Nope! I would have dropped her for that. Hey! I take an immediate evasive action in response to her suspicious movements, but Amine's lips nonetheless press against my cheek. That was not your cheek. What the hell is wrong with this woman? I've got half a mind to drop her in the hallway floor, but we are dealing with an injured party here. I turn my head to the side to stare into Amine's face, finding her blushing in apparent embarrassment. I thought I met her for the first time at this school, but maybe... She knows who we are, at the very least. It's nothing. No matter how long or how carefully I study Amine's features, nothing comes to mind. I was entertaining the possibility she might have been some childhood friend I'd parted from in tears or what have you, but I'm pretty well convinced that isn't the case. Which would leave... Do I look like the lover you were tragically separated from in your previous incarnation? Is that it? <laughs> Pouting her lips, Amine knocks a fist against my head with a solid funk. What are you, anyway? Yes, my short-term memory is perfectly fine, thanks. Every time Amine speaks, her soft breaths strike my ear. Is it just my imagination, or has her body temperature slowly been rising since I've had her on my back? If she suffered from a partial fracture on the ankle, it might be that her body's beginning to generate a fever. Better get a move on. Again, lifting Nominate fervor up my back, I hurry to the infirmary. Is there anyone working here? Doc! Emergency case! Get a move on! Is there even a doctor here? <laughs> Still carrying Nominate, I push my way forcefully into the room and shout for attention. But there's no one here whatsoever, much less a doctor. Why isn't anyone here? Everyone take a break at once? <laughs> They're just all getting coffee. At the same time. <laughs> There's no doctor? You mean they haven't hired anyone at all to staff this room? How convenient. Why do you have a, stu a school this big with one teacher, who's also the professor, and then just six students? For the time being, I lower Amine onto a nearby bed. Hmm, that is also too lewd. Well, fine. I'll take care of the treatment. I do love how many CGs are in this game. There's a lot of effort going into this. I learned first aid at my previous school. I can handle something like this, at least. 
I kneel in front of Amine's leg, untie and remove her athletic shoe, then take her red, swollen right ankle in my hand. I'm going to move it. Tell me if it hurts. Her ankle is slender, but compared to her uninjured left foot, it's clearly inflamed pretty badly. I bend Amine's ankle at various angles, carefully searching for the location of her injury. It's not fractured after all, but I think the ligament might have been stretched, or the joint capsule ruptured. <laughs> Other than the female students, this school gets an F. <laughs> this, stu this school gets an F in a lot of ways, but it's such a beautiful campus. Taking a roll of medical tape from the infirmary's first aid kit, I loosely wrap it around Amine's ankle, restricting the range the joint can move. Then I retrieve ice from the freezer, stuff it into a bag, and press it over the injury for a towel, relieving the heat of the inflammation. Well, just a bit. I have accustomed to treating sprains and burns, at least. When I was a kid, I was getting hit pretty much every day, and I still get my fair share of injuries even now. Spare me. How exactly am I a nice guy? I just treated an injury. Anybody would do that much. That's definitely part of it. To be honest, Amine's words are pretty close to the bullseye. When human beings find kindness, they naturally take advantage of it. Before they realize it, they've grown dependent on that kindness. They lose their ability to function without it. If I disappeared, what would you do with yourself? That's actually a good point. You should be independent, and that's honestly something that Clonod was kind of good at teaching. And then it kind of retconned it at the end. My master spoke those words to me when I was still a child. Alright then, I'll be going. <laughs> As I raise my right hand in farewell, Amine grabs my clothes firmly to prevent my retreat. No. Am I the only one who thinks that she should be slightly more nervous about being alone with a teenage male in this room? Which has a bed? When her leg is injured? To the point that she can't walk? What do you want from me? If you want to have something to say, then spit it out already. No. <laughs> if this is where we can diverge onto the Amine route, I'm saying no. What? Why are you saying this? Since when? She really is boy crazy, isn't she? Hmm. Then let me ask, what part of me did you fall in love with? That's rich. Yuji's the most competent person at this school. Or no, Sachi. That doesn't, that doesn't describe Yuji. Yuji's very competent and independent. You lying to me. I see. Can't say that I have a problem with reliable women myself. What does this girl think she's grinning about? <laughs> This is not how relationships start. Momentarily speechless with amusement, I hold my right palm to my forehead and run it up through my hair. Actually, I guess it could start this way. Look, is teasing me that much fun? Also hard, no. What? I regret to inform you that we're not hiring big sisters at the present time. <laughs> we anticipate no vacancies until Doomsday. <laughs> I love how we just efficiently shut her down. That's my line, idiot. Shifting my grip on the ice pack, I give Amine a slap on the ankle. <laughs> that, was a, that was a dick thing to do. Let's see, if you make it a yes or no question, then yes, I think I'd safely be on the enjoys bullying girls side. TMI. Just what do you want from me, exactly? 
ねえどうしてもダメなのなんか女としての自信なくすな I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing. Don't you think you're rushing things here? Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think you're rushing things here. Zeke, I'm not trying to reject you, but I don't think <sighs> I drop my shoulders in an exaggerated gesture and heave a heavy sigh. I'm sure this girl intends to continue this aggressive pursuit until I tell her what she wants to hear. It would be a serious pain in the ass if she tries to push me any harder than this. As a point of compromise, this is probably right at the limit of my tolerance. Yeah, yeah, I got it. If you want to play the big sister that badly, I'll go along with it. Uh, no, do not let her get away with this. If there was a mirror in front of me as I speak these words, I'd be staring into the face of a man with the word RELUCTANT stamped on his forehead. Might this have been a hasty decision? Indifferent to my shame and regret, Amine beams happily. And drops her hand on top of my head with a gentle thump in grand big sister style. I will not be calling you that. Don't think this means you can pet my head wherever you feel like it. Although I don't get so, although I don't go so far as to push Amine's hand away, I can't say this is an especially pleasant feeling. No, she is very pushy. I don't like it. Dutiful and clever dogs, as a rule, don't wag their tails when someone other than their master pats their head. <laughs> 